Two things. Number one, no, this is not my bedroom. I did not move yet. Number two, yes, my hair is puffy on the sides. I need to get it cut. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Bobby and I love movies. So the trailer for the third and final Hobbit film just dropped a few days ago at Comic-Con. I thought it would be appropriate for me to finally do my review of the second Hobbit film, The Desolation of Smog. Smaug. The Desolation of Smaug. Whatever. This is definitely a spoiler alert. I'm just going to be rambling off about this film. First off, I would like to say I respect Peter Jackson very much. He is an incredibly talented filmmaker that has made several great movies. But recently though, I haven't been a huge fan of the movies he's made. The Lovely Bones looked really just dumb and the first Hobbit movie was very disappointing and this is coming from a Lord of the Rings fan I've read all of the books several times and I own all the movies on blu-ray one of the things that was so disappointing about the first Hobbit movie was this just ginormous use of CG the first three Lord of the Rings movies perfectly blended computer-generated elements and practical effects on the Hobbit like three-fourths of the movie is shot on green screen and the monsters look like creatures from like a PlayStation 2 video game okay PlayStation 3 but still it looks like a video game the orcs in the first three are like ah, uh, there's ah. Uh. They feel like they're actually a danger to the protagonist. But in the Hobbit, the bad guys were like the stupid little CG goblins. They're like this tall, and they looked like crap. I mean, come on, scrotum neck. He literally has a ball sack for a throat. But this isn't the movie we're reviewing. This is the first Hobbit. The second Hobbit is totally different, right? The CG is incredible. The writing is so much better. The actors do so much better, right? No. This movie actually made me angry. I don't really get angry at movies. I can't even actually think of the last movie I've been angry at. Normally when I don't like a movie, I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks, next movie. But this movie was so spectacularly, I'm not even gonna re-record that. That's how I'm gonna say that word. Disappointing. I don't even know, like, let's start at the, let's start a, let's start, let's go back and work our way through. I like the cast of this movie. Obviously, it's still Gandalf from the original movie, but other than that, they're mostly just characters for The Hobbit. Speaking of the title of this movie, it's called The Hobbit, right? So it should be about The Hobbit, right? No. This movie is not The Hobbit. This is about dwarves and Bilbo's kind of there in the side. He's there whenever they need someone short and funny to do something. As far as the performances, the actors actually did a really good job. Ian McKellen as Gandalf, I mean, he's Gandalf. I actually freaking love Martin Freeman as Bilbo, but I wanna see Martin Freeman as Bilbo. I want to see a Hobbit in the movie about a Hobbit. The CG was not much better than the first film. I think Weta Workshops did it. I think it's the same people that made the original three movies. I've seen several reviews of this movie where they were saying the action got so much better than in the first movie. I really, really don't think so. There are so many scenes where it's like, this is stupid. It actually feels like a cartoon. Like there is this scene. The Hobbit and all the dwarves jump in these barrels and they're going down the stream. Goblins, orcs, monster guys are attacking them, trying to kill them, and they do the dumbest stuff. There came a point in this movie where I was just finally just like, I'm done. And I stopped thinking and I just kind of stared at the screen with a blank on my face. Now, I will say, Benedict Cumberbatch is the voice of Smaug. I can get behind that. But then you take that and then they're trying to capture him and kill him. They do these stupidest things that don't make any sense. The dwarves try to like coat the dragon in gold. So there's liquid gold poured into a statue mold. All of the mold pieces break off and it's a solid statue. And it stays like that for several seconds before it explodes. Explodes. There's no reason it should be staying solid. It just did. But the thing that really pissed me off about the end of this movie, they used an Ed Sheeran song. I think he actually wrote the song for the movie, but I honestly don't give a shit. Please, Peter Jackson, do not end The Third Hobbit with a random musician singing a song on acoustic guitar. Please end it with amazing, epic Lord of the Rings music. I look forward to the end of every Lord of the Rings movie so I can hear the incredible score that comes on with the credits. Not some redhead pop singer. By the way, I do actually really enjoy Ed Sheeran, but not at the end of Lord of the Rings. The last thing that I hated about this movie, the freaking elf dwarf love thing. Also the inclusion of Legolas. Why the hell is Legolas in this movie? Actually, you know what? I get why. For money. Girls that like Orlando Bloom, they want to make the money off them because they know they'll come to see him play the same character again. Even though he doesn't fit, he's not really the same character. He's kind of an in this movie. He doesn't really serve a purpose. And Evangeline Lilly, I love her. She was amazing in Lost. Please don't try to make her an elf. She's not an elf. She's only going to be Kate. So yes, I'm done ranting 
about all the bad things about this second movie. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. I know I got kind of angry and was screaming at the camera, but I don't do this very often, just when I'm very passionate about something. And guys, please don't take this as me saying I don't like Lord of the Rings, I don't like Peter Jackson, anything like that. I just really want this last Lord of the Rings movie to make up for the past two. This was supposed to be a review about the second one. I just kind of went on a rant about the Lord of the Rings movies. So yeah, guys, that's about it. The links to my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Vine are down in the description. I have a vlog channel where I upload a weekly vlog every single week. The link to that will be at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later, guys. Peace out. Also, if I'm not mistaken, that is GoPro shot. You have a freaking huge budget. Don't use GoPros in your movie. Okay, I'm done. Digato. It's a play on the ways Leonardo destroys things like Michael Bay. Who made Frozen turn? Pave the way for Bobby Burns. Makes reveal.